Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian from Whisper Status 74. What you see on the screen now is a video I did with the 940E versus the Sony 900E. It's just up here as a placeholder. Uh, the reason for this video, and I hate doing these vids, is I'm getting comments daily um, in the last two weeks about Sony 940Es failing out in the community. Um, and they're all failing exactly the same way. There is a vertical band down the center of the screen. And it was actually a reason, one of the reasons why I sent mine back. I thought it was just regular dirty screen vertical banding. Everyone in the comments, um, a couple comments from just yesterday alone, a vertical band right down the middle, um, a few inches wide. And it's happening, I'm getting them every few days. And I just have to bring it to your attention especially if you have a 940E or even a Z9D as they had very similar panels. I'm getting a lot of Z9Ds failing out there as well. And it's a shame because I recommended the 940E to a lot of people that weren't gamers because it just had a gorgeous picture. Um, it was very similar to the Z9D and the KS9800. Um, even though you're seeing blooming on the screen, both of them, or the 940E had very minimal blooming, but it's out there failing right now. And if you have a Sony 940E, I don't want you to panic. I just have to bring it to your attention. The reason I also want to bring it to your attention is it's clearly a known issue as Sony is taking care of it. So um, I wouldn't preemptively contact them unless you really want to. But what I would say is if you're seeing any issues at all, if you see that band even a little bit, I would call Sony and get a replacement. Um, they're replacing the um, 940E with the 950G. Now, I'm not saying replace it and get yourself a free new TV. That's not at all what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if that vertical band is there now, if you're seeing vertical banding, I've actually had it on this channel. Um, this is me sending mine back. Um, I would call them and preemptively have them start to work on it just in case... It's something that they're addressing, but not going to address after a certain period of time. When Sony or any of these companies act like this, which is great on Sony's part, I had them do this with my um, projection LCD. They replace things and do things quickly because it's a known issue. They know it's going to fail. They know it's out there. Um, with my Sony, it was a lamp issue and it was a vertical stripe across the top of the screen. They basically gave me a newer display. No questions asked. Keep the TV. We're sending you this one. Um, primarily just because they know it's a defect. There's no lawsuit. Well, there was a lawsuit with the projection LCD. There isn't one here yet. So um, I hate to report this, but if you're seeing vertical banding on your Sony 940E, primarily in the middle of the screen, don't hesitate. Contact Sony. Um, a couple people are having theirs repaired. I don't know how you'd repair that. Others are just having them replaced with the 950G. They're not the same display. Um, the 940E had zero blooming. I mean, it was, again, very close to the Z9D. But the 940E and the Z9D, um, Andy, jump in the comments, because Andy has a Z9F. His failed as well. Um, the Z9D. We're seeing a lot of failures out there with those two displays. Um, an alarming amount. And I have to bring it to your attention. I hate to bring it to your attention just before the holidays. But if you're somebody that's got a Sony 940E or even a Z9D and you're watching this and you're saying, wow, yeah, mine does have this line. I just didn't know who to call. Call Sony and tell them that um, not only is it happening to you, um, you can give them the name of the channel. They can look it up. You can have so use, use social, you know, um, use social media to your advantage. You know, tell them that you've been on forums. Tell them that you've spoken to you know, YouTube people and they're doing videos on it. <clears throat> Just let them know that it's out there. They should be good with it. Sony is typically very good. Not typically this good because it is a few years later, but it is one of their highest end. It only came out in 75 inches. It was about $4,000 when it launched. I love the display. Not great for gaming. Very slow pixel response, but the panel is clearly having issues and it's having issues for all the same people. Every comment I'm getting isn't on the same video. They're very, very random. And they're on all videos, meaning that I could be doing a Samsung video and someone will pop, by and pop on and just say, hey, you know, after a year. And 
this is my responsibility. This is one of the things that I have on this community is to help you guys with this. Um, I also am responsible that I recommended the 940E and even the Z9D to a lot of you back when those were the top displays. Um, the 940E I had in my home, I loved it. The vertical band I saw, thought I thought was just random screen uniformity. You can actually see it um, on a few of these videos. I actually did a video on it. I'll even just show it to you. You can see it right there with the Call of Duty video below <clears throat> in the middle. Here's the blur one. Here's um, the Call of Duty video right you actually won't be able to see it in a video of a video, but I digress. Going back to what I was saying is if you're having this happen, don't wait, don't deal with it. Don't say to yourself, hey, it's just vertical banding. It's a known issue. Um, dirty screen effect, vertical banding, is something that's very common among high end or high or larger sizes, I should say. Very bright LEDs, you'll see them, but in this instance, it's a known issue. They're replacing displays for it. So if you have it out there, now I don't I don't ever recommend if your Sony 940E or Z9D is working perfectly, I would not go try and get yourself a new display um, simply because as much as I like the 950G, I don't feel it's better picture quality than the Z9D or the even the 940E in terms of raw picture quality for movies especially, but I don't recommend trying to cheat the company and having them replace your old TV with a new one. I don't ever think that, that that's very disingenuous in my opinion, but I have to make you guys aware of it. That's why the channel exists. I know you can't see it in this video. You can see it if you look at this video natively, but uh, right in the middle of the screen where I'm turning the gun, there is a big band down the middle of the screen. I took it back because of poor pixel response, but I had this issues with it as just even the title of this video uh, shows you. Dirty screen, vertical banding, is it a large screen problem? I did a video on it while I had the display. So I feel terrible, honestly. Um, I recommended this display to many of you. I think it's an excellent display as well as the Z9D. Now I'm not out there spreading anything that I'm not getting on the channel. I'm getting this through the community, people that are members of this community, so I'm not out there saying, hey, guys, you know, be, a, be afraid or it's a conspiracy. I'm just saying that they're repairing these displays and they're replacing them. If they're doing that on displays that are this old, that are out of warranty, they know it's an issue. And they're just doing the right thing, but they knew it was a problem. Otherwise, they would just tell you, hey, we can pay for you to repair it, but they wouldn't be doing it free of charge. I think Sony's better than most with their customer service. Nobody's really that good um, at saying, hey, look, you have an older display, let's let's fix it. So, again, my least favorite videos to do, guys, especially right before the holidays. But if any of you are struggling with this, I want you to be aware of it. I want you to know that it's something you can handle and get taken care of. Don't bother with the retailer. Go right to Sony, their customer service. Say you've had the issue. You've read it on forums. I would like you to also tell them that you've done the um, the factory power reset. That's the first thing they're going to tell you to do. It's a waste of time. They're going to tell you to unplug the display. They're going to tell you to hold down power and volume. To save yourself time, just say you've done that because it takes a while and it'll make you make another phone call. Tell them you've already done the power reset. You've read it on forums. You read it on this channel. I don't care if you give them the name of the channel. Um, and other channels, whatever, just let them know that it's an issue and you've known people in this community that have had it and it's a widespread problem and you're aware of it. So go in there, always polite but firm, firm but polite. Don't get loud or anything that can hang up on you any second you get loud or get uh, frustrated, which I understand your frustration, but um, you can't go wrong being polite. Again, I'm sorry for the drab news before um, the holidays and everything, but I just think if any of you guys are watching this, I'll repeat myself again, and there's just a hazy vertical band on the middle of the screen. It's bright enough to see, but it'll always be something that is, you know, you can do screen tests on it, but it's probably a three or four inch band right down the middle of the screen is what you'll see. 
Um, if you're not noticing it, would I say to ignore it? I would say no, because from what I'm getting from the community, it gets progressively worse as time goes on. I'd rather see you take advantage of it now before Sony does decide to say, okay, well, look, they didn't have a problem with it. Sometimes these companies have a, they help you for a while and then they'll say, hey, sorry, um, we, that was three years ago. So if you're seeing that, again, I'm not spreading fear or anything. This is what I'm hearing every day in the last two weeks. I'm getting comments all the time about it. I have to let you guys know. Sony 940E mainly. Um, Andy, who has been part of the community for a long time, had the Z9D, had the same issue with the Z9D, and I had a couple other people with issues with Z9Ds as well. So please let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Do not settle for anything like this. If you have an issue, contact Sony, have them repair it or have them replace it. Um, the only replacement I see them doing is the 950G. They may replace it like they did with Andy with the Z9F. Andy, if you could please jump in the comments. Let people know what your experience was. And uh, Buffalo Bobby, uh, a guy named TC, um, had an issue as well. Please jump in those comments. Let people know what you have experienced. Um, and that would be most helpful. As we are a community, we are here to help each other. I don't want any of you um, to settle for anything that's defective. These displays, all these things that we love and enjoy can be interrupted. It's one thing to say, hey, I don't like the way this picture looks or the color or oh, I wish it was a little bit brighter. Those are just inherent flaws to the technology we've all chosen. Defects should not be allowed, especially on these high-end displays. That was Sony's highest end display that year, um, the 940E. 75 inches only, great display, great picture. Z9D was their master series. Uh, again, awesome displays. I'm not putting them down. Um, if you take it that way, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just trying to help people that are having a high failure rate. And again, if you see a hint of that line, it won't be all over the screen. I'm seeing it primarily down the middle of the screen is what I'm hearing. I'm getting pictures of it on Instagram. Um, just try and uh, contact Sony and see what they say. But uh, again, be polite but firm. Let me know what you think in the comments. Guys that have had issues with this display, hopefully they jump into this video. Uh, especially, can you let people know what the steps are and what they replaced your display with or what Sony responded to. Or if you have this display, tell me that it's fine. If you have a Z9D, tell me that it's fine. Um, just, I'd like to hear all sides of it. But I would definitely know that there is a big group of people that are struggling with this display now. And I do know the Z9D in the forums is having a high failure rate as well. And quickly, my theory on why they don't make um, full LEDs this way anymore is due to this. I do think that the amount of heat and the amount of zones, as much as we love the way the picture looks, I do think this is why Sony and Samsung started to add less zones, started to try to change their priorities a little bit. I think it's a lot of zones, it's a lot of heat. It's uh, just probably tough to, I think they had high failure rates. Anyway, guys, thank you. I will talk to you guys before the holidays. I wish I had something better to report, but hope everybody's doing well. Please let me know what you think in the comments and if this has happened to you or if it's all good. All right, I will talk to you soon, guys. Thank you so much as always. Love you guys. Take care.